All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another Is It Worth Buying video. In today's video, first things first, if you guys are hearing a fan, it is hot right now, all right? It is 80 something degrees outside and I am not trying to sit down and do this video without a fan running. Trust me, I have sat in my room without a fan. It's not fun, all right? So anyways, yeah, it's just, it's hot, bro. And I'm like, I ain't trying to be sitting here to, you know, please people that are like, what's that annoying? Cause I just know that there'll be somebody like, what's that annoying fan noise playing? Turn the fan off, no. Not not when it's no 80 something degrees outside i ain't turning off nothing all right so anyways let's go ahead and get into today's video is the playstation portal worth buying i will say just to give you guys a short answer yes and no the reason why i say yes is because if you can if it's the only thing that you can afford and you do have a playstation 5 then go right ahead you know i would have to say like i guess if you never did get a chance to experience the psp growing up then yeah go ahead and get the uh playstation portal um i mean yeah I, I like the playstation portal i think it's nice i think like visually i think it's really nice i think having it where it's like it feels almost you know those like backbone because i do have one of those like backbone controllers and it feels like that almost it feels like or it kind of like you're having a like the so like because this reminds this whole part reminds me of a nintendo switch and it seems like they came out with like a Ooh, PlayStation, Sony, I'm, well, I mean, what phone, what phone would be this big? I guess, like, if you have a tablet or something, but, I mean, it comes off almost like that a little bit in things, but at the same time, it's like, fam, I think this could have been better, you know, I really do think that this, uh, could have been better, I think it could have been the, like, next generation or, like, yeah, a newer version of a PSP and stuff, because I would say if it was a toss-up between owning this or having a PSP with all the games I used to have, I'll definitely take a PSP over this, because, no, the thing is this, like, don't get me wrong, I do like the PlayStation Portal, I think it's nice, but it just really seems like a downgrade where we had it, because I can't remember if you could buy games digitally off the PSP, like, I never, I had bought all my games, like, a physical copy and stuff, but if they did have it, it's like, fam, you were able to play games any and everywhere without having, I guess, like, if you did want to play online, you very well could play online. But if not that, like, if you were like me and you were just playing nothing but single player games, fam, like, you didn't have to worry about, no, at least for me, I didn't get Wi-Fi until, I, until like, 2010. I remember, I think I got the PSP. When did I get the PSP? It was like 2005. So like I fam, I had five years of playing games like when power when the power went out, we didn't have no Wi-Fi. I was playing nothing but single player games. So like it, it really trips me out how it's like this. You have to have a Wi-Fi connection. You have to have a PlayStation 5. And I'm like, fam, I feel like that that's messed up where it's like because in, in my opinion, I would recommend you just go buy a PlayStation 5 and i guess i yeah lift weights you know bulk up a little bit so and just be prepared on carrying the playstation 5 because it's like fam i i think like at the end of the day i do think that this is a cool concept but at the same time it could have been better so that's why i say yes and no because it's like there's limitations with this like you can only you're only limited to some stuff like you have to have a wi-fi connection you have to have a playstation 5 and i'm like fam you know a person like you honestly though in reality you have to be like a content creator you have to be somebody making money to be able to go out afford a playstation 5 a playstation portal playstation plus i'm trying to think of some oh and then like a bunch of different video games because i'm saying it's like i had sony come on now it's like you have to i i get that you're thinking you know people want to i guess want to have like limited stuff and i'm like no bruh i would rather for this thing to feel like a whole brick in my hand having it because no i that's actually something that i just thought of where they should have it where there's like a um like a hard drive that can plug up at this bottom part right here because it's like there's space that can like for something to be here have it where it plugs up um in the uh like usb i think they call this a c a whichever whichever letter it is but anyways the usb port have like a hard drive that plugs into it and then you can just download games versus having it where it's all like i have to have a wi-fi connection and a playstation 5 and then it's like okay the power goes out then what am i supposed to do i'm just sitting here holding it all like well i guess i'll just wait for the wi-fi to come back on people ain't trying to do that they're trying to play games at any given point in time let me just let me just give you guys a little bit of a you know just going down memory lane with my psp because when i tell you guys fam 
Remember that dude from My Strange Addiction that was in love with his car? That was me with my PSP. Okay, maybe not that bad, because I think you guys will get a visual, and I don't want you guys to get no visual. But anyways, no, let me just, on like, jokes aside, let me just tell you guys about how it was having a PSP growing up. Fam, having, I, I still remember the Christmas when I got my PSP. I, the, I had the original um, OG PSP. I remember I got that, and I got Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. When I tell you guys, I was up that night playing that game, fam. I was up that night playing my game. My, me and my family, we at the point at that um point in time when I got that PSP, we were all living in a one bedroom apartment. I did not care if they, you know, was trying to sleep. I was up <laughs> in the middle of the night with the PSP on full max audio playing Grant that follow Liberty City Stories. I I was like, fam, I don't even care if my family is trying to sleep. I am playing this right now. That's how it was. I'm trying to have that type of memory with this. But it's like getting this, it just was because I played the first and I played Gran Turismo. And, you know, the connection, like connection wise, I would say it could be better. You know, it's like to have it where this is something that solely the whole purpose of it is for a place like, like do you know, for you to connect it to a PlayStation 5. The connection should have been a little bit better because there was at times where the games were getting a little bit pixelated. And maybe it's my Wi-Fi, but I'm like, fam. I will take, I wonder if I can, I, I'm actually going to bring up a picture of my Wi-Fi. And if it's a bad Wi-Fi, let me know. But if it's, I, I would say that it's a pretty decent Wi-Fi. I would say that it gets the job done, especially when I'm playing like other games and stuff. But anyways, um, let me just see real quick if I can find it on Best Buy. I don't think I did. Uh, is this it? I think this is it. I think this this might be it because I'm not seeing no no yeah this I think this is the one this is the one hold on let me open up an image I didn't want to do that I didn't want to open up okay save image go ahead put that in my files let me just show you guys the Wi-Fi that I'm dealing with right now because I would say that this is a pretty decent Wi-Fi box that's my Wi-Fi box now I would imagine that with this Wi-Fi box you're able to do some stuff, all right? You're 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 capable of doing some things with that Wi-Fi box. So it really trips me out when it's like the game ain't crystal clear. Like, it doesn't look... Because my thing is this. I, I guess, like, you know, I'm, I want it to look just how it would look if I was playing it off of my PlayStation 5. Like, I want it to be crystal clear. No pixelations, no lag, no delays, no nothing. You know, and then that's another thing. And I did notice this because, so I guess like, and that's another thing. Like, if you can, um, if you have more than enough money to go out and get you a PlayStation Portal, I actually would recommend getting the uh, Lenovo Legion Go. Again, I'm not trying to down. If you guys want to get the PlayStation Portal, you very well can. I will say, though, I think it was a little bit easier connecting the PlayStation Portal to the PlayStation 5 than it was the Lenovo Legion Go. Because, like, there, you have to, like, download the app, and then there's, like, all these different ways of doing it. I'm like, it's confusing versus with the PlayStation Portal, and it ain't all that confusing. It's actually, it's relatively easy. But, no, it's like, I, I feel like with the Lenovo Legion Go, like, you get more with it. You know, like, if you don't want to just be limited to just, like, playing the PlayStation, uh, like, you know, through, uh, cloud, through the, yeah, cloud play and stuff, then, yeah, like, you know, you can download Steam, you can download X, the Xbox app, you can download a bunch of different, it's pretty much having a, like a, like a laptop, like a portable, well, I mean, laptops are portable, well, a portable gaming PC, if anything, you know, but, yeah, it's like, but I will say, though, that the battery life, because I did look up the battery life on this, and uh, they say it can last up to like six to eight hours. And so I, but it's like, yeah, because it's through cloud play. But I'm trying to think like, I think even with the PSP, it was like, I, cause I'm telling you, I think I played that more than like six to eight hours. I was like, nah, unless I just had it plugged up the whole time. But I think there were at times when I went on road trips, that of course it's going to be like, you know, longer than that. But let me look up the, uh, um, the battery life real quick. Battery life. It is, uh, yeah, six to eight hours. I, I was right. I was right. But anyways, but I just think, though, that it's all like they, they should have had it where this is like a new uh, version of a PSP. I'm saying it's like you guys, I, I just, I feel like here's the thing. You know, it's no disrespect to Sony, but it's like it really trips me out where it seems that your guys is older products is better than your newer products like i just recently reacquired my old playstation 3 and i had to i have the or yeah i have currently i have the original playstation 3 like that very first big one that came out 
and i looked online and that's like that's the best playstation 3 out of all the playstation 3s that they released because not only does it play playstation 3 games but it plays playstation 1 and 2 games and i'm thinking to myself like fam that's dope like 10 something years ago like over 10 years ago like you don't really appreciate that stuff right then and there but it's like you think of it now and it's like fam that is dope versus a playstation 5 like you can play playstation 5 games of course playstation i think because there have been times where i've tried to download playstation 4 games um that i had bought on the playstation 4 and they won't i had to like check and see which games it was but then they have it where you can play um through uh like a, a cloud play playstation 3 games and then it's like they might remaster some like old games and make it to where it's like you know for the playstation 5 but i'm like fam you would think with the playstation 5 and it's like newer technology and stuff you can like if you have a disc version of a playstation 1 2 3 4 and 5 you should be able to play that all on the console you know but it just yeah it just strips me out at times where it's like you know i sit down and i think about that i'm like a psp in my opinion is better than a playstation portal that's just my opinion you know and the playstation the original playstation 3 is better than the playstation 5 because it can play three generations of games versus with the playstation uh 5 it, you know, like two and a half generations like it can play like some ps3 games if they if it supports that cloud play and then it can uh some playstation 4 games and of course all the that'd be crazy though if they was all like it couldn't even uh support and play all the playstation 5 games on the playstation 5 but yeah, I just think that, you know, there could be more done. Like, if, if all right, so here's the thing. If they do decide to come out with another PlayStation Portal, you need to have it where it's, like, it's something in that same field as, like, a Aces Rog Ally and a Lenovo Legion Go, something like that, because I just feel like that, and then it needs to have good battery life, too. So if it's going to be a brick, if it's going to be something heavy, so be it. I'm like, I'm saying, I need to go to the gym anyway, so I'm like, I have a reason to lift weights so I can hold up the next PlayStation Portal but if it's capable of being something that's like portable you know but it's like yeah i just don't feel like it ain't really you think of a portal you think of like okay i'm trying to like be or I, well i don't know how how could i like put in an example i can't even think but i'm i when i think of something like this i think of like okay like because my thing is like if i took like a hiatus from gaming and then i come back and i see this and i'm thinking oh that has to be a new edition of a psp just to find out that it's like you have to have a playstation 5 and you have to um have uh like yeah the, we're not playing no you don't have to have playstation plus but you have to have a playstation 5 in order to play and i'm like nah bro that's that's crazy that's crazy work right there so but um yeah um i yeah it's one of those things where it's like i think it's you know if you want to go out and get it then yeah go ahead and get it. your money at the end of the day um, I know there are some people out there enjoying it. I did enjoy it. Like, I did play the first Ascendant. I did play Gran Turismo Sport. And I do plan on playing some more games because I actually did want to see what Helldivers had uh, looked like on this and stuff. So, yeah, I will, um, you know, play it and things. But, yeah, I just wish that it was better. You know, I wish they came out with, like, a hard drive that you could just plug because it just seems like that there can be some space that can be uh, um, at the bottom of here. You just plug it up, and then you're able to download games and play it and stuff. I just think, like, fam, that, in my opinion... In my opinion, that would be a good product to come out with for the PlayStation Portal, all right? So, but anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and peace.